I'm going to give a few solutions here at once, so go ahead and pause the video whenever you want to have more time to work on something. So in part A, we want to know the orientation of the magnetic field. And the Z hat here, right in the front, that gives us a direction for the magnetic field. So here we could say it's in the positive, oriented in the positive Z direction. For part B, we want to know the direction of wave propagation. And we know f for a plane wave that, um, I'm not sure I'd said this was a plane wave, so actually let's look at the um, form of the solution that we have. And we can see that the magnetic field only changes in one direction along here the positive y direction. So we, w we could say that this describes a plane wave and we can say that the direction of wave propagation is in the positive y direction because as time goes up y also has to go up to get a constant argument. For part C we want to know the phase velocity and from this expression we can tell the wave is propagating in a lossless material. We can tell that because I covered it up a little bit, but there's an amplitude here, and the amplitude is not changing with position. So that means we have a lossless, there's no attenuation of the wave, a lossless material. And with lossless materials, it's common to use K for the wave number. And this is in later on you'll see beta used for the wave number. So we're going to use k here. And uh, the argument, similar to transmission lines, omega t minus k y. So we can identify omega and we can also identify k. k is 0.5, omega is 10 to the 8th. So now we can use this to solve for the phase velocity, which is omega over k. So put in 10 to the 8th and 0.5, and we get 2 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So um, a bit slower than the speed of light.